Hello everybody, Tony Scaponi here coming to you live on the Epic Storm and tonight we're going to be playing some Jewel, baby! The hottest, the newest Jewel list. So as usual, give me just a few minutes so I can get the word out to our folks on X, aka Twitter and Discord. I'll be right back. All right, hope y'all are ready for some jewels tonight. Yes, this is one of my favorite decks going right now. It is very, very competitive. It does have a little bit of trouble with Scaminator, but I can't imagine Scaminator is going to exist, at least in my opinion, all that much longer. Um, so eventually this deck will be even more competitive. So the general idea is you want to resolve a jewel. If you resolve a jewel, you get to add three mana from this coveted jewel. Uh, repeatable mana source, of course, and you get to draw three cards. Once you've done that, you can copy it with one of 12 copy effects. Metamorph, which stays mana neutral, but copies it. You get to draw three cards, tap. Transmute, artifact, which will go up on mana because it only costs two, and then you can go get a jewel and get three mana, so plus one, same thing with copy artifact, only cost two, and you rip through your deck at some point, you put engine into play either by drawing it or getting it with transient artifact, and then you get a one ring or a relic of Sauron into play, draw your whole deck, at which point you can cast Emrakul, no problem. Sometimes we just cast this card, that's a mode that this deck has, um, and then you get to cast Metamorph, copy it, legend rule, keep the copy, Emrakul shuffles back into your deck from which you can redraw her and recast her. That's right, infinite Emrakuls, okay? Infinite Emrakuls. And then, of course, um, we have been testing. This is one of the newest things we've been testing. Fables and Bowmasters. Bowmasters is just broken. Uh, if you're not playing the card, you probably should. Um... And Fable is very good in the deck. It helps fix. Uh, we're already in black and red, so it's really not a huge stretch and gives us another kind of fair uh, angle and some card selection, so that's pretty sweet. The rest of it, pretty obvious, right? The One Ring, we got Forces. Low blue count, but that's just kind of how it rolls with Jewel. Uh, and then we're on that fetch land. No Saga, uh, 8 Soul Land mana base and our sideboard has leyline helm combo to help us of course with the scaminator menace excuse me uh four more forces first in defense against other combo decks and then we have some removal dismember braid chain of vapor some more bow masters because they're broken against blue decks um and then of course we have one golem which has a way of 
really sealing the deal. Can act like a defense grid in some scenarios just so that we don't get got by something um, when we're finally going off. So that is the deck. Like I said, super powerful, ton of fun. Uh, oh, I didn't mention Chaos Defiler. This you can get with Transmute Artifact, and then you can even transmute it away. This card is an absolute banger. Sometimes you're chaining jewels, and it's clear that you're not actually going to kill them, and then you're in danger of losing your jewel, and you can end the jewel chain with a Chaos Defiler, kill their dude, probably have a force up, and usually at that point you're pretty safe, and then you can untap. But these are repeatable. They're just Gilded Lotus Lodi. So uh, pretty sweet, but... Uh, that's it. Of course, I do want to thank our sponsors, Moxfield, KMC, and Card Hoarder. And I do want to mention uh, that I have my own YouTube, Patreon, uh, as well as Twitch. I do a lot of live streaming on Twitch. Um, and I did just start a podcast called Brews of Paradise. Uh, we just did episode seven with Cyrus Corman Gill as our uh, guest, but it's myself. Uh, and I have three co hosts, um, Punishing Waterfalls. Um, Killaby and Newton, the newest uh, member. And uh, like I said, we're seven episodes in Brews of Paradise, it's called. Check it out on Spotify or any other major podcast platforms. And uh, of course, check out the Eternal Glory podcast, which is Brian Cook, uh, Brian Koval, and Phil. Uh, I'm blanking on his last name, but uh, you know the podcast. Go get after it. And, of course, become a member on this YouTube. There are all sorts of sweet perks to do so. You can also uh, join the Patreon. All these links are in the description below. But if you join the Patreon, you can get access to the rather robust uh, and useful uh, sideboard guide for the Epic Storm. So let's get on to some gameplay. I will see you in game one, round one. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. All right, here we go. We are playing against Shiwasu. We've won the die roll. Uh, so we're on the play, and this hand is quite good. We have both of our cards that we're testing here. Um, yeah, definitely going to keep. It's not obvious what we want to start off with i would love to if i knew my opponent wasn't on wasteland i would start with thundering falls um if we go flooded strand and this is why we've had some conversation of having like a badlands in the deck although then you'd have to change the the fetches but if we don't lead with thundering falls and we want to start with fable oh we could just start with monolith though yeah, you know what? That's too powerful to not start with Monolith. This way, if the coast is clear, we can just go Jewel and just go Ham. Um, and then it, if we want to do, you know, some more fair stuff, I can just get Volcanic with Flooded Strand. It does take ourselves off of Black for the Bowmasters, which is that awkwardness that I'm talking about, right? If we had a, f you know, you, you could run Scalding Tarns and um, Bloodstained Myers as your... Your fit well no uh, uh, polluted deltas and you can always get island and then still be able to get uh, badlands and then we could have gotten badlands and be able to cast both of these but so it is a blue deck so I do I think I want to put some fair threats. See what I mean? If we could get Badlands here, I could just play Fable and then next turn I could play Bowmasters. But if I want to play Fable now, and that is what I would like to do, um, I'm taking myself off of Bowmasters mana. Worth noting in the event that uh, Fable actually resolves and we get a, um, a treasure, then we can cast Bowmasters off of that, which... What's so cool about this card is it's so easy to cast and you can't like 
you want to force it, but you just know that there's going to be scarier things from your opponent than Fable, so you kind of can't. And then you can't use removal on it because it's two objects, and the value is just insane. We're accelerating. We're going to get some card selection here. I just, this card is just so good. Ancient Tomb Island, post ponder. So this is probably like show and tell or something, huh? Um,. Okay, so that means, yes, I want to get rid of Thundering Falls. And I probably want to get rid of Bowmasters. No, if they do Grizzlebrand stuff, it'll be really good. Do they even play Grizzlebrand at this point? Or is it just the tracks on Emrakul? I don't even know 100% if I'm being honest. I think I'm just going to just cycle the land. Okay. I don't hate that. So we have, let's, uh, let's play pedal. Uh, and then we'll get our treasure. I will get to your question, uh, normal about show and tell. Or at least I would like to. So three, six, seven, eight. So we can do jewel plus a transmute, although transmute would only be for two, but we can open with transmute. Then if it resolves, I just get a jewel. If it doesn't, then I can slam jewel. This is the beauty of transmute, right? Um I do have to tap Monolith, but that's okay. I intend on using it. I could also threaten Bowmasters and the One Ring. I could also... No. I was going to say Engine, but then I don't have Monolith. Okay, so they're letting it go. Like, Hole Breacher is really the only thing that kind of gets us here. But I think I'm fine. But, like, you got Hole Breacher, you got it. You know what I mean? Something tells me they don't. They do not. Oh, I tapped too much mana. Oops. That's okay. Because now we're just in there. Um... Play another jewel straight up. Three, four, five, six, seven. It would leave me with only one though. So you want to try for another transmute. They could bounce it, that would be annoying. Like petty theft. Brazen borrower. It wouldn't shock me if they had a force and they just like transmute. They just, they didn't know what was going on. So they let it resolve. <laughs> wow. We're just in there. Now we can make black if we want. Oh, well, we can make black off a of jewel too. Three, six, we've Ancient Tomb. Let's go. Black. Now we have a Force as well. Tomb. Play another Jewel. Uh, Fable, yes, has been played in every format. It's legal in, like, basically since it was printed. It's not really a new development. <sighs> We're jeweling. I don't know if you noticed, but... Uh, oops, I'm covering the Storm Count. Although, Storm Count isn't actually relevant with this deck. 3, 4, 5, 6... 
So that party is over. We can let's see five one. Let's play a relic. Three, four, five, six, two, four. We can play relic into one ring. We can play. If I play one ring into Bowmasters, I have to actually just play the Bowmasters face up, which is. I'm going to play Relic into one ring. Intuition. Okay. The whole time they had this. The entire time. I guess they figured if they have to force, they're going to lose anyways, so... They won't be intuitioning for force anyways. Um... Moto has been a little bit laggy. All right, so we do have access to a force of will. Maybe I should just force the intuition because now, now that I let them have the thing, they get to untap with it. So that opens me to like spell pierce, or otherwise may not have. We did also tap out, which was a downside of playing the one ring, or playing relic into the one ring. My mana was awkward though, as you saw. I couldn't just like hold up Bowmasters, otherwise I would have. No, they just didn't really have a very powerful hand, and we did. Uh, not to mention Show and Tell would have, I probably would have put in Bowmasters, right? Because this can prevent, you know, if they have Grizzlebrand, whereas Emrakul is just like, I have to untap, at which point I was winning anyways, with or without the Emrakul. Okay, so this is a pretty darn good matchup, as you can imagine. We're definitely playing Forest, we're playing Lodestone, and we're playing the Bowmasters. I do like how threatening Fable is and how they can't really waste counters on it, though. Um... This does mean we're taking up portions of the combo. I don't think we're necessarily slamming Jewel. I can definitely trim a land. Mm, I could. I think they'd be crazy to slam a Blood Moon, but they might. They might assume we're on Saga. So, excuse me, I guess I'll keep the island. At which point, I suppose it's a fetch. Could be a city, but um, don't hate trimming on transmute. One, two, three, four, sixteen, seventeen, twenty one blue cards is a decent amount. I can afford to trim again, maybe a copy artifact this time. Two more cards, huh? Relic of Sauron is slower and not nece like necessary. 
don't exactly need Chaos Defiler. Yeah, I'm not sure I need Chaos Defiler. So how do I feel about show and tell? Totally off it, or would you be playing it if you weren't testing Fable? Yeah, not totally off it. It was very successful. It's a great way to build the deck. Um, but it is the obvious cut in the event that we're testing other stuff. So this has no forces. We have like turn two Bowmasters. They've mulliganed. I think we can do better. I would say this is better. Yeah, I'll keep this. Um, there is some awkwardness to it. I could just forfeit the force of will, but I don't think I want to. This is a turn one Bowmasters into, it gets a little bit delayed after that. But if we draw a blue card, we'll have force as well. Various land drops will also give us a golem. And yeah, they did not shuffle. Ooh. I could play a golem. Mm. If they just bang a brainstorm, I'm going to go for it. Oh, they're just going to pass. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to take my turn. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good. We can go monolith. I think I still want to wait. If we can somehow survive this turn, then we're going to untap with a big turn, especially if we draw a blue card. All right, they're just letting it go here. I like that. I'm gonna go for a surveil land. Cool. I always say no to that. I guess we just don't. I'm going to put it on top. Surveil some more. That's the blue card that would be in our hand if we had bottomed the jewel. But again, pretty tough to bottom that jewel. I'm going to leave it on top. Monolith. I'm going to pass again. This is the last time I'll be just like not doing much. Yeah. Could have forced action, had Lodestone on the stack. They brainstorm, then Bowman. But I'm going to go for the Bowman. See how they react. Okay.
Really good for us if they need to cantrip some more. I feel like on average they cast a lot of cantrips before they go. So certainly possible. Mike, what's up? Um, all right. Shields are a bit down, though. Excuse me. Sorry for the shuffling around. Oh, I like that. This card is so broken. And <laughs> they're passing. Just so broken. Usually on the other side of this crap. Three, six. Can we just go Lodestone? I mean, Jewel would be good here, too. Wow. Um... I mean, if Copy Artifact were to resolve, that's GG. It doesn't feel like they have a force. However, Lodestone and Force is also pretty good. Wow. <laughs> yep. Easy game. Sweet. We're 2 0. See you in round two. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think it would just, it would have been difficult to lose from that spot. Hey, Aiden, what's going on? All right, turn one fable. Definitely in for that. Opponent has mulligan to six. We are on the draw. It looks like Delver. We have a turn one fable through a daze or round a daze. Mm, I welcome you to daze my pedal. How about my other pedal? This gets in, we're in pretty darn good shape here. Wow. The value. They're bolting it, okay. Turns out Fable's good in every deck, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Ooh, beautiful. I was going to die anyways. No delirium. No bowmasters for the fable. Alright, I think that's enough transmute.
And copy artifact. Oh, baby. we we'll just go Volk Monolith. No. I'd rather try to play around days. At all. Does help play around days. The fable is so good. Brainstorm. I would imagine they're going to get Delirium now. I just got to find a Ponder, you know, Bobble or something. There we go. Left it on top. Don't like that. You in a bobble? Wow. Just no thanks. I only want to do one damage. I was saving it for Delver. Okay. Fair enough. They only have one card. I think we just take our one ring. <laughs> They're just off it. Wow. Brought to you by Fable. Um, not known, but like more likely Grixis. Especially considering, I mean, the fetch lands, whatever, they're all blue lands. But my guess is that it's Grixis. All right. We want the Bowman. We're going to play a Braid. It's pretty much always going to have targets, and it does help us have some outs against Null Rod, which admittedly is rare these days, but... It's one of the cards that can really just get us. And a card that you're just not willing to bring something like Chain of Vapor in for, right? We do have Defiler. We want all of our lands. Not the Bowman. Love Fable. I think we just trim jewels. And a transmute or a force of will. Maybe a trim force. I don't mind the lodestone either. Trim a trans transmute. Let's try this. I lost the null rod two matches in a row last night and logged off. With how rare it is right now, I took it as a sign to take the night off. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Listen, if you have been watching my content, my stream, just me for the past, I don't know, week, you know that I've just been on a tear of a losing streak. Like, real bad. Um, This hand doesn't really have much in terms of action... But it's got a bunch of lands, which is the most important thing against Tempo. Is making land drops. So that we can nullify their wastelands and dazes. We do seem to have a pretty aggressive start. Okay. Start with Island, pass it over.
One card on top. It's tough sometimes to look back and see it happens. You also go on the opposite heater streaks and don't get too frustrated by it. Yeah. Uh, let's cycle. I think we just go for a surveil land here. I don't want to go city pedal slam a ring. Then we have an untapped land if we do want to go that route. Oh. Now we have a bowmaster through days. <clears throat> it's not it's probably not going to kill Darcy, right? Play the Valk. I will, if they like cast a Brainstorm here, or a Bolt, some sort of instant, if an instant goes on the stack, I think a Bowmasters. Uh, Alright, well... I gotta play it. I can't not play it. Forcing it even. Okay. All right. We might be able to catch back up from this. It's so force pitching force. We just want more mana. Yes, that is perfect. I think I still want to play around days. I think we go surveil land. It is rug, by the way. It's not Grixis, it is rug. Rainstorm. So next time we're going to have two, four, five. So we're going to one ring holding up a blue. I mean, I don't mind a brainstorm here. It'll be a panic brainstorm if they happen to have another force of will. We can look for a force. I did take a force out. They have two cards. One ring is in. Ring, ring. Okay. Um, made a land drop. No use brainstorming. Wander. Okay. Getting rid of a daze. Probably a good call. More threats. Well, we can ring walk for days here. I would like to find a force. So I would feel a lot safer. Wouldn't mind a bowmasters. Just immediately. Oh. <laughs> Um, two, four, five. Well, that's brainstorm. Two, three, four, five. 
One, three. Can't relic into double bowmasters. But I can. Two, three, four, five. Can't triple bowmasters either. Get rid of one metamorph and this relic. Play monolith. Play delta. We have access to underground sea. I don't want Delver to flip. All right, we're in there. They conceded? <laughs> I mean, you're about to hit me to eight and then I'm going to six. What if the rest of my hand is junk? I mean, we did just brainstorm and vanish after drawing a bunch of cards, so very unlikely. I don't blame him, okay? We are undefeated. We have not dropped a game. We even just beat a tempo deck. Let's go. See you in round three. With card order, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash deck. Alrighty. Yeah, I mean, show and tell's been good. Mono blue has its advantages. Depletion lands have their advantages. Saga. There's a lot of different ways that you can build this deck. And part of the... It's partially frustrating, right? Because I want to find... I want to optimize. I want to find the best version, and I want to play that. Maybe iterate on it, tweak it, that sort of thing. Um, but we keep making different iterations and they all, they're all good for their own reasons. Uh, it's also difficult to like brew and, and gather useful data when you have a broken situation like Scaminator. Like, whether you think Scaminator is broken or not, it's still... It's still also just specifically good against combo decks, right? So... Playing against... Phil Lesh. Doesn't matter how often I play against them, I don't know what they're playing. I just, I don't know what it is. I want to say they're non blue. I really don't know. You can look them up, but I'm not going to do that. All right, they're on seven. So are we. Sand is it's slow, but it's good. All right, not non-blue. <laughs> That's looking blue to me.
Advantage of going volcanic is that I can get an underground sea and I can bowmasters on two if I want. I'm not sure if I necessarily feel like I feel like I can't afford to though. I feel like I gotta play this tap land. I mean, it's not great for us, but the surveil is nice. Yes. We'll most certainly keep that. Alright, what's the deal? Banda. Double Volk. Only cantrip so far. No shuffle. All right, so they are Delver. Um, I'm gonna go in on this fable. It is aggressive. It puts us in an awkward spot in terms of our mana. But if they don't have force, yeah, they just have days, then that's pretty good for us. Oops. And then I get to use this. It's also pretty good. Talk about value. And we'll get uh, Underground C. Could have gotten a basic, but we got plenty of targets for their wastelands, right? We're getting wasted. What flavor are you? He kept it on top. I wonder if they're going to kill this Bowmasters. They kind of have to decide about if they have a Bowmasters to play it, right? It's not like I have to decide whether or not I'm drawing and then they get to play it. It just, the trigger's on the stack. Do you want to play it or let me draw? Why is it dark? All right. Looks like they're playing it. Oh, they're just bolting. Okay. Sure.
You have four cards. Remember, they topped their surveil. Also a bowman. Okay. Three cards left. All right. I, I mean, it's not the worst, right? Like, I don't... I don't have to... I like the cards in my hand. I'll put it that way. That's a good one, too. It's a really good one. I wish this were in my deck right now. We can definitely do Bowmaster stuff. Like, I can transmute. Now let's do this. In fact, I'm not even going to play Underground Sea. So let's go Pedal. Or no, we showed them. Yeah, we showed them C anyways. We go transmute. I have to admit, Darcy is annoying. All right, it's in. I can get something up to five. I think I'm just getting Metamorph. God, Relic of Sauron would be nice. Could get Engine, but it's not really going anywhere. If you get the One Ring, you don't get the trigger. So... Can we just go Metamorph? And then we pass it over. Still a problem that we're getting hit by Darcy. All right, they're telegraphing another Bowmasters. I'm going to block. I would like to soak up the damage. If they don't have it, then I don't want to just give it to them. If they do have it, I would like it to be in play so that I can cast my Bowmasters. I think uh, I don't want to get bullied. All right, this is a Merc Tide. I need to find mana so I can Defile her at this point. One, two, three, so it's going to be a six, six. Pretty scary. Oh, I'm sorry, five, five. They left the ponder. Okay, they left cards so that they can have delirium. They have three cards in hand. We got a fable thing, which isn't like super helpful. Taking eight, we got a five. I mean, it is, if we can resolve Defiler, 
and copy it. That would be nuts. That would be insane. City of Traders would be nice. Really any mana, any non-land mana outside of City of Traders. Let's get rid of that. I have a Volcanic. Let's pass it over. Hope they... I mean, they're not going to cast the Brainstorm even on board, Bowmasters. <laughs> Maybe they bolt it and then Brainstorm? I don't know. Probably not. Have they seen... I don't think they've seen actual Bowmasters, right? Like, we just copied theirs. So, this might come as a surprise if they, you know. That's horrible for us, getting wastelanded there. Yep. Down to five we go. I don't even think I cast Bowmasters. Maybe I was just supposed to cast it before. Hmm. That does not help. All right. On to game two we go. This time Grixis. Let's go Braid, Bowmasters, Golem. I want to do pretty much the same thing, which is trim the jewels out. Um, trim Transmute. Maybe Brainstorm is pretty bad. I really want Dismember. I think so. Chain Vapor is really good sometimes. Even just bouncing a flip Delver on end stuff can be good. Obviously very good against Murktide. You know what? I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. I think the delay effect the Chain of Vapor may allow for us um, might be crucial because we just have so many like hammers that if we can just actually not die quickly like we did there, we can start taking over. Oh boy, this has to find a land. No, this is just way too poor against Wasteland. Okay, this is much better. We'll keep this. I think I'm just keeping all the lands, all of them. Yep. Um, we have slightly more black cards, so I guess I'll get under city sewers. Okay, these surveil lands are so good. They're just so good. So good. So good. Hopefully we play against something that isn't tempo at some point. <laughs> that would be nice. Hmm. I'm actually going to keep it. You could jam, but I don't think that's right. 
Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I should have played pedal. Alright. We're gonna surveil land again. They're probably gonna brainstorm and start casting spells when this is on the stack. No. Wow. I'll take it. Here's the thing. I mean, we have creatures, so they're definitely not taking their bolts out. But if they force this and say this is important enough where I need to force it, then maybe I force back. I feel like we're about to get eaten alive by just like Pyroblast, though. Maybe I shouldn't even top the Force of Will. I may have been a mistake. Just dig for more action. Okay. Well, now if we have to force, we're walking into days. They try to they try to end step a bolt we can force it and then they can't daze back. If they wanted to cast the bowmasters but forgot no, they just just nothing. Untap bolt. Mm-hmm. Force walks into days. Do we make them have it? If they don't have it, we're in great shape, but they probably have it. Yeah, I, I think that would be insane. If I could play around days there, I would have forced it. So maybe that means I just, I was supposed to be more patient and or not top the force of will if I'm not even willing to use it. Okay. It is a card that is potential to win the game out of nowhere given certain draws. You can't really daze us unless they have three dazes. <laughs> I've seen crazier things happen. Alright, we're in. We don't have any material for it, but it does mean like a oh, one ring is just very likely GG. And we do have a force, we have a lot of mana underneath us. We probably have a couple turns, if not a few, to draw some serious action. I only have one jewel in the deck. Transmute would be good. Also, having a metamorph is not terrible. I will force a null rod. <laughs> Defiler would be a great draw.
Definitely some lengthy cantrips. No shuffle on the ponder, re-ponder. Probably get delirium. Yep. No shuffle. All right, multiple no shuffle ponders. One ring. I mean, it's not terrible, but it doesn't deal with this Darcy unless they brainstorm. Do it. Do it. Do it. Brainstorm. Nope. Nothing. Come on. Uh, we have Artifact Land. We can't really pull off a Delirious Darcy either. We are in trouble. Sure. Maybe I should wait on this, but I don't think so. They do let it go. We got a seven. We are hoping to get one more draw out of this game. Bolting my face. We go to four. Darcy puts us to one. They have five cards. I don't think I, I can play this from one. I, if they have a force, they just force this, and then I'm actually dead. But... It's part of the tempo game, right? We had a land light opener, so it had to go to six, and then our six had a lot of lands which is typically good, but then there's always just the possibility of we don't draw enough action and uh, just don't even get wastelanded, you know? And that's the tempo matchup. All right, we are 2-1. and one. Moving on to round four now. See you there. Want early access to articles at theepicstorm.com? Become a member of our patron to get articles seven days early on top of other sweet benefits and help us pay our website team. You can sign up at patreon.com slash theepicstorm. All right, round three, four, sorry. Hmm. Could be better. It's kind of mopey. They're mulling. I'm gonna mull again. I, this is similar, but better, in my opinion. Could just keep all the fetch lands. They mull the five.
I'll keep the city. The acceleration could be very important. All right, OP's on five. Wasteland, Mox Diamond. Um, okay. Go. Okay. It's not a bad draw. We just, we don't want to get needled. It was tempting to get them to waste us. They only have two cards. It takes them off of a land. I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. Go ahead. Wasteland me. Another land. Okay. Go ahead, do it. Could even copy artifact on Mox Diamond right now. <laughs> the old do it, you won't strat. Go ahead, do it. You won't. You won't do it. It's just clear that they can't afford to use it. Saga is annoying. We gotta get going. We gotta get moving. If we actually top that one. Are now wasting. Okay. Mm. Well, I'm glad I have this force, but I'm not too thrilled about this pithing needle coming down. Bowman, not the greatest here. That's not bad. We can just jewel up next turn. Can't even die to a Merit Lage. Needle's annoying. But I think Jewel can get us out of this. Tokens or whatever. It's got to be Needle, right? Map. Fear is obnoxious. That's going to be a no for me, dog. Are they going to ghost quarter? Are they going to crop rot? Okay. Make it 2020. I don't really care about that. Now they're empty handed. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, then. Uh, they don't have access to Besaju. They have nothing. They have no cards in their hand. And we already have two copy effects. <laughs> OP's like, wait, what? What's going on? What's happening? You're dying. Moto's freaking out, though. There we go. Uh, for the past few days, it's been really touch and go like this on Moto. So if your opponent is just like waiting an extra 10 to 15 seconds uh, pretty consistently, but still at kind of random spots uh, that normally would lead you to believe, okay, my opponent is just doing something else. Um, it's Moto. <laughs> Now, we got one more jewel. Uh, good. Now we can get engine. Play Phyrexy Metamorph, untap, we draw our whole deck, play Emrakul, copy Emrakul, Legend Rule, shuffle Emrakul in, redraw her, recast her, do that infinitely. GG, so lands, 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 lands. I want a braid. I don't need Bowmasters. Um, do I want to play a Leyline Helm combo? I feel like that's just asking to get blown out by Force of Vigor. I do like, so definitely Chain of Vapor, definitely a Braid, uh, some number of Force Negations, actually all four are Force Negations for sure, I think, I think those are my ends, obviously Leyline has utility, I'm not so sure it's ideal. So I, I want these six. Need to come down four cards. Not taking out any mana. Defiler's quite good. Can't come down on jewels. We're going to have less resources from which to actually transform or transmute. One, two, three, four, 16, 21, 22. So we're pretty set on blue cards. Let's kind of need relic because of needle. Fable's, Fable's pretty good against them, right? We could trim a jewel. Yeah, just trim the brainstorm. Yeah, brainstorm is tougher to pull off when your mana is getting attacked. Okay. Far from perfect, but. It's definitely playable, especially if they start mulliganing, which they did. They need very specific hands. They're really looking for like a turn one lock piece, turn one sphere, something like that. At least um, force of vigor, if not, they need something. Open with needle, that's fine. 
That's fine. And it might not be fine, right? In hindsight, when we get there, but generally speaking, I don't think it's worth countering that. Um... Okay. This is one benefit of fetch lands, right? You can you can actually make your land drops and get some mana on board, even if you intend on getting it on basic. All right, so that one that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Not so sure it's worth surveilling here. Wouldn't hate acceleration. Okay, yes. Um I'm gonna be patient though. Yes. Took themselves off of Wasteland. They're holding up a green. Yeah, let's just get Island. Get it out. Oh, they got nothing. Surprisingly, they didn't hold up Wasteland. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right. Now we get some mana underneath us. Um, it's going to be obnoxious if they have a second needle. But now we have a ton of mana. We have permanent mana. Even despite Wasteland. We've got a slow, but, you know, a card draw engine. Okay. I'll blow it up with Haywire Might. Fair enough. Fair enough. We are looking for Jewel. Um, Fable would also be great. I guess I'll play this land. At some point I want to hold lands for Fable, right? Or hold cards. But I wouldn't mind forcing and not having to tap this Grimonolith. Is it Crop Rot? No. Ooh. Where did my Force of Negations go? Do I want to delay this a turn? Stop Saga from coming. Whatever. I, I think. We gotta make a draw. Got to draw something pretty much now. Well. Okay. Fable might be a bit too late. If they loam, I think I countered that loam. It depends. Depends what they flip. You have my ancient tomb. No, that's fine. Not making tokens. Interesting. Okay. Fox Diamond incoming. Sure.
Sure. You got me. Didn't want to use it anyways. Oh, they did have a crop rot. They drew into it. All right, I'm going for the 2020. Doesn't matter. Yep. There we go. Nope. Damn. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Curious to see if they take the two. They do. Damn, we had nothing coming. Maybe we can't afford to cut Jewel. Lodestone could be good. Bad against Besaju, though, huh? I think it'd be really easy for Besaju to just break that up. Okay. The weird hand. You know it's a weird hand when you start City of Traders Pass. Uh, okay. Here we are again. Could copy it. Name Wasteland. Yeah, very similar. For sure. Oh, needle or relic. Brutal. Needle it is. Not a great spot. Best draw is like pedal. Like they just have their ghost quarter. I suppose they could have mapped for it anyways, but still. Outrageous.
All right, give me a fetch land. Thank you. Thank you, deck. Not using map. This is really strange. Might as well surveil. Is a blue card. Could name, could get another needle going. The problem with that is you name stage and then they map for uh, Seiju. Just break out of it. I think I'm off it. Got to get this out there. I think we're basically just going to die to a 2020 here, though. We have outs. We have outs, and we're drawing stuff with Fable. One rings. We have a chain of vapor. We have got outs, folks. Any of them. That's a jewel. Two, three, four, five. If I find a soul land, we're good. I just ditch the force of negations because if I ditch volcanic and I hit a petal but no other land then I'm still not there I'm not so sure I'll be able to make use of these we did not get there once again once again missed it just by a hair. Damn, there's so many outs there. One ring, chain of vapor, any soul land, any petal, any monolith. There's like more than half the deck for sure. Two, four, five, yeah. It's five mana. Um okay. They figured it out. Oh, they saw their cards. They activated their onboard cards. They did what their deck does. <laughs> Sphere is fine. Hmm. Oh my god, they turned it sideways. I can't believe it. Um <laughs> This is a favorable favorable matchup. We put ourselves in favorable positions twice and had multiple uh chances to draw many, many outs and just didn't draw them. That happens. That's magic. And I'll see you in the final round. The best legacy podcast? That would be Eternal Glory featuring myself, Bryant Cook, alongside Brian Cobal and Phil Gallagher. We're available on all major podcast platforms and YouTube. Opponents using their cards to do what their deck does seems illegal. Call a judge. Yeah, I agree. Definitely agree. Hmm. Yeah, we had so many outs there. Tombs, cities. We had two lucks, too. Well, three if you count 
draw step. Pedals. I don't think transmute got us there. Monoliths. One rings. Four, eight, twelve. I think there were like seven soul lands. It's nineteen. And there were forty two, forty four cards, something like that. So three forty percent draws. While we are BSing between games, the haircut looks good, Tony. Oh, thanks, Travis. Thank you. I'm just excited for when I lose enough hair that those closest to me are okay with me just buzzing it. I cannot wait to be able to buzz it so I don't have to ever even touch it. Just wake up and go, looking good, kid. <laughs> That's it. I've definitely been digging this list, I will say. It's been solid. That's what you do anyways with hair, but I get to work from home. Yep. <laughs> you can just have bed head. Don't matter. A mulligan and could definitely be better. We do have a bowmasters with a force. Turn one. Any land makes this hand reasonable. I'm gonna keep it. I might regret it. I really want to draw land. Don't even care if it's a surveil land. In fact, I don't mind monolith either. Tony's working from home right now and can't get away with bed head. Yeah, this is true. But I spent, you know, eight hours of my day selling cars. Ah, <sighs> I think we have to play against Tempo again. Good thing they had to mold a five. All right, we are forced to play our city. We kind of did this to ourselves here. Bobbles. This feels like Grixis. Scaminator's not playing Bobbles. Alright, well, we're getting in with the Bowman. We'll taste your own medicine. A bobble trigger coming. I only have three cards going up to four from Bobble. They might have. Well, Snuff Out doesn't do it. Could have Fatal Push. Pew, pew. Yeah, I mean, turn one Bowmasters with Force backup is. It's pretty good. It's broken in and of itself. So the floor was reasonably high.
But now we are we are on that, you know, just begging for lands. Oh, we have double force now. And three power in play. With a rather broken effect. They have four cards. No thanks. Get it out. Get it out. This is it. This is this is what my hand does. Hey, I like that. Pew pew, ping. That's a good one. Ooh, also a good one. Uh, I feel a Merc Tide incoming. Darcy, alright. Is a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, let's get it. I think they have to block, right? And they're gonna take it. Okay. Wasteland, yep. Yep. They have two cards. Now they have to start attacking. So, like, that was their chance to block. And they didn't. Mm, they do have... They're killing the token. Reasonable. You've got some pressure, though. That would have been great. They basically can't cast cantrips. I mean, they might be able to get away, ugh, get away with casting like a ponder or something. Obviously not a brainstorm. Come on, baby. Red source. Hey. I'll get it in. All right. No bowman. No bowman. Getting in. Go to seven. This is close. They drop Bowmasters, we're in trouble. Definitely in trouble. Come on. Oh, here comes Murky. Murky T coming up. That's pretty good. What do we do about that? We draw City of Traders. Okay. Yes. Hmm. 
Jewel, definitely going. Oh, we already have enough for one ring if we sacrifice our goblin. I guess just Jewel. Okay. Attack with both. I'm going to attack with both. I think they have to block the token. We get a free point of damage. Not free, but... This is my only play. Alright, we're in. Draw card winds up putting us the four land? No. Mana though. This is tight. Go to four. Transmute, we get a thing, draw, that's a good one. Can't beat Bolt. Let's play around days. In case they drew that. Horse. Yep, wasn't wasn't getting around that one. Okay. You got me. Grixis, Grixis, Grixis. Bowman, Chain, Raid. I'm gonna play this member. I'm just gonna cut forces. This is what I was doing against Scaminator. Granted, I was bringing in all this Leyline crap. And maybe we should do that as well. I'm going to try that. Let me just do one of these. Winning is tough, though. We have to win fair. Except for Helm. So I guess that's not that fair. Hmm. I will trim transmute. Yeah, I want to try this. It's the last cut. Yeah, maybe transmute is more important than copy artifact. Not jewel in. I should probably have one jewel in, but
So we have one jewel. We don't have our engine, don't have our Emrakul. Goal is the Leyline Helm. Okay. Leyline and lands. I'll take it. Defiler's good. Sand is fine. Do I put both of them in? These are on Petty Theft. Fewer cards in hand for something like Fable. We do have a Brainstorm in the deck. I'm just going to put one. Right, that's excessive. Just going to tell them that our hand is land heavy. If you rewind, is there a deck tech? There is. That's a quick one, but there's a deck tech. Uh, if you look in the uh, description below, you'll find a link to my YouTube, which the most recent video is also a jewel video. Um, I have a few jewel videos on there. Hungry for some more jewel content. There's that brainstorm we talked about. I think I chill for now. Maybe not. Maybe I should have brainstormed. We need to brainstorm anyways because of Bowmasters. No, hold. I want to get more value out of it. I can always cast it in response. It does kind of tie up mana, but we're not really actively using it right now. It's a brainstorm of their own. Bold. Okay. Fight me bottoming a city. They're still going to start wastelanding. Interesting. I'm going to brainstorm now. You're free to daze it. Kind of like a duress. And you have to pick up a land. I'll take it. Awesome. I'll watch your channel, Deck Tech. Thank you. You've been playing Vintage recently, and Jewel is a nuts card for sure. Yes. Yes, it is. It's a good one. What's it gonna be, OP? Nada. That's a good one. One ring, they force, they play a threat. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Gonna let it resolve. Illegal. I 
All right, they fetched for seemingly no reason. That means they've drawn too many lands. Just going to pass. Yes, they spell, I dare you. It's the man himself, the bowman. Okay. Bowman Jamerson is here. A Jamarino. Oh man, Jamaruski. The Bowman Jamster. Come on. Okay. They have five cards. Go to twelve. That's not good. Go paddle. Come on, Moto. Thank you. Sweet. You have another? Yep. Yeah. You also have a force. If so, pretty much GG. Bro! Outrage. Three to seven. Yep, I get a chump. If they have like anything else, I'm screwed. Oh no, no, no. They they kill the things, obviously. Durr. Any? No. Nope. And they had all the interaction. I suppose I played it a bit risky, but uh, I think we we're fairly favored to come out of that interaction on top. But they had it all. Okay. Oh, those were close tempo matchups. We won some, we lost some. Generally, I would like to play a league that maybe isn't pretty much all tempo. It was obnoxious. Um, yeah, we honestly didn't even get to do the thing a lot. <laughs> Fable felt great. Felt great every single time I had it, every time I cast it. I think I might just play this maxed out. And play Bowmasters in the side. Um, then again, it is nice to have the Bowmasters. 
especially being able to copy them. I, I'm just of the opinion that this card is broken. It's super broken, and the problem with it being such a good answer to itself is that more and more people are going to realize how broken it is, and you're going to see more and more of the card. And the more you see of the card, the more it is necessary to play it. So it's progressive. So that'll be fun for the next couple months or whatever. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Of course, I do want to thank our sponsors, Moxfield, Card Hoarder, and KMC. And I do want to mention yet again that I also have a YouTube, Tony Scaponi, one word. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me streaming uh, quite often on Twitch. I will be streaming tomorrow morning around 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, you can also check out my Patreon, which has various lists, sideboard guides, articles, um, access to my members uh, section uh, within the Storm Discord, the second most active channel in the whole Storm Discord. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Podcast. Started a podcast a little while ago. We're seven episodes in. It is called Brews of Paradise. Go check it out. It's myself, Punishing Waterfalls, um, Killer B, and uh, Newton. We have had a couple of guest episodes, Bosch and Roll, and we just had Cyrus CG on the episode that I just recorded. I think I might do some editing tonight, so you might see that pop out pretty soon. Check it out on Spotify, all the major platforms. Um... And please, look at the links below. Go find uh, the Patreon for... If you're interested in the Epic Storm, of course, there is a sideboard guide that just dropped the other day on the most recent list. And also, if you become a YouTube member, there are all sorts of sweet perks there. Early access. There are private discords within the Storm discords for that as well. So, plenty of ways to get all sorts of perks within the storm community while also of course supporting your storm uh content creators both uh you know the team at the epic storm and just myself individually uh but that's about all i got i'm sorry we didn't get the jewel as often as you normally would in a league with this deck i'm sorry that we had to deal with tempo so much but sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. And keep storming. See you all next time.